This is Gary Bennett at Accelerated Internet Strategies. I've put together an iPhone development video using the UI Table View controller. In order to get started in your iPhone development, you'll need to download from Apple the latest iPhone SDK. You're going to need a background in an Objective-C um, or Cocoa. I've listed a couple of books to get you started that I found useful for my own development, both uh, Cocoa Programming for Mac OS X and the Objective-C book available from Apple's site. And then, uh, as well as I uh, listed a website that you can go to view this presentation in higher quality than what YouTube uh, allows, and you'll be able to follow along with the text that I type and be able to see everything that I do. This demo was done with the SDK version 7, that's still in beta from Apple. You are going to need an Intel based Mac, a G5 won't work. In order to help with the flow of this presentation, I've cut and pasted the code and uh, let's take a look at what this application will look like when we're all done. When you launch this uh, application in your iPhone simulator, you're going to see a submarine list with all uh, different types of submarines on it. It's going to be in a table view. You're going to have the ability to edit uh, the list. You'll be able to, to delete items from the list, multiple items, um, from different, uh, different rows. When you hit done, it will take the list. When you click on an item, it will go ahead and take you to a new view and show you the row that you clicked on. All right, let's go ahead and start our project. We'll go ahead and choose a navigation-based application uh, in order to use the uh, built-in uh, Cocoa Touch templates. Let's go ahead and name our project UI Table Demo and go ahead and click on Save. That will generate our project and our code, our code stubs to begin with. And then let's go ahead and open up uh, the zip file for our main window, which is called mainwindow.zip. And um, from the main view, let's go ahead and add the title to the navigation bar, and we'll call it submarine list. And we'll go ahead and save that. Next, we'll want to go to our classes group and open up the root view controller.h file in order to add um, an instant variable to contain our list of submarines. We'll list that as a content array of type ns array. And then we'll go to the .m file. And in the .m file, we're going to add the code for content array um, and populate it with the list of submarines. And this will be done under the view did load method. Now that we have our content array populated, we need to return the number of rows in the array, or that's going to be populated in our table. To do this, we need to go to the number of rows in section and return the number or the count in the array. Now under the method called cell for row at index path, we'll go ahead and populate each cell. You'll notice uh, there's a comment there that's nicely placed uh, to remind us that's where the code needs to go and that's where we'll put our content array row at. Well believe it or not we're ready to go ahead and compile this application. We have enough code here to populate the first view of our table. It's not going to do a whole lot but it at least let us get started. Uh, brings up our iPhone simulator it has our submarine list uh, listed at the top in the navigation bar, as well as the list of our submarines in the table. You can see that the Cocoa Touch development environment really did a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Now we need to add the code so that when a user clicks on the submarine, a new view, animated view, is brought up displaying the row that was clicked on. First we want to go ahead and add the new zip file called, uh, called a view. Dot zip, and we're going to name it detailview.zib. Next, we're going to want to add the code behind that new view. We'll move the view down into the resources with the rest of the zip files, and we're going to click on a new file and click on Cocoa Touch Classes and then the UI View Controller subclass and that will generate the code stubs for us. We'll call this detail view controller and hit finish. 
Now once those files are created we're going to need to move them up to the classes view if we haven't already. And now we want to open up the detail view zip file. And what we want to do is put a label there. And that label is what we're going to use to populate um, when we click on a submarine which row was clicked on. We'll put it up here at the top and we'll size it correctly and um, increase its font. And uh, you can do that uh, increasing the font or changing the font um, programmatically, but we'll do it here inside the attributes for that particular label. Now we want to bring up the document window and select the file owner. And now what we need to do is tie the class to that particular view, this detail view controller class. And then we need to tie the outlet of the file owner to the view uh, outlet for um, the detail view. And now we can see that that view was tied under the view connections. And there it is, that we were successful in doing that. You want to make sure that you tie the file view to the view. Moving now to the detail view controller header file, we're going to need to add the instant variables that are going to hold the label of the text that we're going to populate with, as well as the road number that was clicked on uh, back on our table. Uh, this label we will then tie to the view so that it automatically gets populated. We need to go ahead and add the properties for that, which will set the uh, well, which will do the getter and setter uh, calls for us automatically, saving us a lot of code. Uh, all this was added in Objective-C 2.0 and uh, really saves you a lot of code and time in, um, in keeping track of your variables. Next, we'll move to the root view controller header file and we'll add the forward declaration for our detail view class. And then also we'll go ahead and add a pointer to the class so that we have access to it uh, within the root view controller. And then, of course, uh, we need to set the properties uh, for uh, the class, which will automatically uh, call the setter and getter methods uh, for us updating uh, that class as needed. Now, in our root view controller M file, we need to add our import statement for a detail view header file, as well as the synthesize call um, for our class. And then we need to add the navigation logic when somebody clicks on the submarine uh, so that uh, the view gets populated with the proper information. There's our navigation logic, there's where the did select row index path method is called, and then our code for uh, calling the new view. Well now we can go ahead and save this file and do a build and let's see uh, if our call uh, to our new uh, view is being made when we click on a submarine. There's our submarine list. Let's click on a submarine. There's the new view. It has the navigation uh, button at the very top to take us back uh, to our submarine list and there's our label but uh, we haven't done anything to populate it with uh, information yet. So we'll go ahead and do that next.